change of plans in this episode for the live comms that we're doing due to fixture rearrangements. Also, we've got a bit of a problem with, with um, Atsu Fati. Let's get to it. What's happening folks and welcome to an episode of Rebuilding Barcelona. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily content on this channel. For mind you, if you like FIFA as well, down below my second channel is down below there, which has got FIFA career mode, two, two career modes and also my ultimate team one-off general updates on, on packs and fizz of unlocks and that kind of thing. Also down below, guys, is my Discord link, and soon to be down below, my podcast for Manchester United link as well. Uh, I've got a Twitter account for that as well, which is going to be, hopefully, uh, sorted out today. So, we're on the page of Antu Fatty, um, because I didn't know what else to talk about. He wants to leave the club, he asked for a transfer request, I said no. No one's offering me near enough for him. Um, I don't want to sell him. Um, we've got a good contract 2027, so I don't have any problems with, with keeping him. He signed in 2021, so... I have no problems keeping him. There's no real danger to to, to sell him right now. Um, hopefully he will change his mind. Um, but unless they offer over, over 100 million, they ain't getting him. Um, and that's the minimum requirement. I want more than that, ideally. Um, but yeah, so just let you know, guys, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there is work going on in the house. Essentially, the old radiators again. Balls been put. New balls been put in, and the radiators been have been removed including my room. So I don't know how long it's going to take them. They say two or three days, so it, hopefully it's two days, but I can't recall when that's happening because there's so much noise going on. So that may be a pause in content coming up because I don't want to rush the content out. So uh, it might be I just do some reviews um, next few days, get that done and recorded um, for you guys. So I do apologize. I did say the disruption. This is the first part of the disruption coming up. So yeah, you can see behind me, the new furniture, one, two of it came damaged is going back. Um, so it's just been a massive pain. So we've got a new kind of cutscene uh, kind of thing being done with the games of camera. Um, let me know if you like it. I'm going to stick with it anyway, but any feedback on it, it, it's just better than me talking about the game. So let's go look at the games off camera.
yeah, as you can see, three wins, uh, sorry, four, three wins in the league and the fourth one, obviously, in the cup. Um, so because of the fixtures being rearranged, or added, well, not rearranged, but added, one, one, one minute added in Malaga because we've also beat uh, Akron in the um, Copa del Rey. We're going to do Malaga and Granada today in, in the live comms. Then after that, we're going to do one, two, three, four off camera. We're going to do Levante and Sevilla. And then we're going to do Milan and Madrid. Um, it's worked out kind of well for us because we're going to get to include all three games that were just too close together. So that's it's kind of worked out really well for us. So that's what we're going to do for scheduling. And after that, it will depend on what's happened with Champions League and um, all that stuff and Cups and that kind of thing. So Malaga next. The good news is we've got players back fit, which is really handy. We had a lot of players out injured and fitness issues. Some are still out with one injury death and some out with international football. But the good news is they're slowly getting back. Well done to Luke de Jong. I mean, he's got, has he got a release clause in his deal? £24 million transfer fee. It's something I'm considering doing maybe, but it depends on what budget I've got, who am I to sell and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not certain to keep him, but we're looking at maybe Cavani as a, as a long, short-term option just to bring a young player. But we'll see what happens in the summer. There's, it depends on the money and what have you. So the belly's not going to be playing today, but he's on the bench for numbers. Um, put the first team out. Let's see how we get on today against Malaga. Who, if I remember correctly, um, had a lot of had a, had a takeover at some point. If it's, it's, it was Malaga I'm thinking of, and did Van Nistelrooy play for them? I could be wrong in, the, in this. Um, I, I probably am. Um, so here we go for, oh, great. So we've got Two shirts that look almost exactly the same. Fan bloody tastic. Anyway, here we go, folks. Um, at home, away at Malaga, in the cup, with two shirts that look absolutely awful. Let's have a get on. Ferran Torres! What a start that is! Barstow on the one, Malaga nil, and Ferran Torres has got it. Um, what a start that is. Um, literally, you think it's the fastest goal we've scored this season. P gets the ball here and just brings it forward and says, well, I'll give it to... Since they're both are getting forward on the right hand side, he puts it in the penalty area. And look at that from Ferran Torres. He was definitely playing better on that on that side. Makes it one against Malaga. What a start that is. Fantastic. Adam Achiori. Trigio Roberto cuts in penalty area towards the bar around the far post. And it's a half a chance. But he's going backwards on it, leaning backwards a bit. So half a chance. And Jordi Alba has now got an injury, which is not good at all. Um, it's a red injury. And what's the injury? Potential knee. Ooh, that could be bad. That could be a bad one. So we're going to have to play um, Balde at left back. Um, hopefully it's not too serious, but knee injury, it's red instant injury. The warning signs are there, aren't they, for serious, serious. Fernand Torres in the box. It goes to Adam Ochoa arriving. So Jumbo gets back in control. Can he find a cross in the box? I'll be, um, have to beat this man. He's done it for oh, good ball in the box there. Adam Ochoa, and it's 2-0. It's a Bama Yang. I think that's a massive error. I think they cleared it. I want to see if it, if it was cleared against uh, Adam Ochoa or if he um, tackled them. I know he obviously came off a diamond near the end, right before he went to Bama Yang. So Berto gets the ball on the right-hand side, puts in the penalty area, and, oh, no, he cleared it across to him. Sort of. I mean, look, 2-0 against Malaga, and this is really comfortable so far. Roberto. Just got to be careful with Dougie maybe back into the game. Now they're taking a shot on target yet in this game with Malaga. Now they might have won and Stegen could have caught that. I don't know why he's punched it clear and they've scattered it over the bar. That's poor from the Stegen that. He could have, he should have really got hold of it. So Gilberto. Adama. So Gilberto swings it in the far post. Ball is arriving at far post to get there. He's got it. He's got time to bring it down and pass it to... It, Again, that pass should have been played a bit earlier. Don't worry, it's too slow. Eric Garcia. Oh, again, why are we going backwards with it? There's no reason to. PK, play it forward. De Jong, play it forward again. Good ball through to Fernand Torres. Lovely goal. Barstow on the free. Malaga nil. Fernand Torres is definitely better on the left hand side. But I knew he would be good. He's more natural to shoot on his right foot. So 3 0 against um, Malaga. It's a fantastic. It's a, it's, a, it's a result we should be getting, but it's nice to see us actually take our chances. And again, poor marking from the fullback. It's definitely a thing in this foot manager I'm noticing a lot. Um, well done, Fernando. It's 3 0. And it just keeps the form going. And the goal scoring is, well, much better now. I feel, more, I feel like we will score more when we attack. Good ball through. Touch. Lovely little finish. 3 0. That's probably game over now. Balde. Sergio Busquets. Balde. Cousin Vapos to a Damachiori, and it's 
Barcelona 4, Malaga 0. We are absolutely blitzing them. And it's nice to see us do it. I mean, again, I know it's a second division team and we should be doing it. But we haven't been taking our chances recently. And uh, or we were worst start season at least. Good ball from Balde here. There's Dan Mochoy. Wins a header. I mean, he's scoring goals now, which is very surprising. I just don't know if he's worth £30 million pound to keep. So half time, it's comfortable. Very comfortable indeed. Um, so what if, I've got to praise them at 4-0. I can't not praise them. So I'm going to take a Dahmer off and bring on um, a couple of youngsters just to give us a bit of um, freshness into the into the lineup and just rest some players when you know get get get, get some game time for the young players. It's four 0 It's basically the tie over now. It's a case of can we get a few more and just not get any more range of injuries really after the um, early one we had for Alba, which hopefully not too serious. Like I said, pretty good ball to Fern Torres now. He's got the ball down the left. Finds Nico. Nico, put a fair on a chance again, and there we go. Barcelona 5, Malaga 0, and a fantastic, what move that is, fantastic, and a hat-trick, of course, of fair on I was thinking, will he get his hat today, and he's managed to get it, well done. Again, he's much better on that side, he really, really is. The problem is now is what do you do with uh, Depay and what and what have you, and Fatty, but well done, fair on Torres, 5 0 against Malaga. It is, impre it is impressive performance from him, personally. Well done, fair on. Well, they can't complain. I mean, I know it's 5-0. You, you can't, we, we can't really win this game because we've had to win it. But we still did it. We've still got to go out and do the job, haven't you? You've got to go out and, you've got to go out and perform. Uh, and we've done that. Well done. Full-time, Malaga nil. Barcelona on the five. It's the biggest live come scoring that we've had. Not in terms of goals. We had a five, we had a three, two last episode, didn't we? But this is the highest winning margin we've had in the game, which is not... It would like it to be in this game, to be honest with you. But well done to the lads. They got the win. Now we're on to... Um, I think it's Granada next, didn't I? I said, didn't, yeah, I said, didn't I? Yeah, Granada. That should be tougher, but still, we should be going to that game. We should go down that game now with a lot of confidence. What is the injury to Albert? He's out for seven, six, seven weeks. To be honest with you, I thought it'd be a lot worse than that. I really was worried it'd be a lot worse. So, um, Desti's back in four, seven months. So he can't play there. So we're going to have to play Balde. Uh, at left back, which is not ideal at all. Uh, but it's one of those things, isn't it? It just happens. So, on now to Granada, um, we've got to keep our winning form going in the league as well. Right, folks, match number two against Granada. Um, Real Madrid are right behind us. They have got still got a game in hand over, so technically, I, I, they'll probably go two points behind us. Um, but, just got to keep in our games, don't we? Now, the fixtures have changed again. Um, it's really annoying. Um, so, I'm might have to show away we we're getting to the end and show what's happened with the fixture list um, but it might be our show East Milan first leg um, that would also help by with the recordings as well for the next week or so Just it's just annoying it's the timing of the fixtures um, and yeah I'll tell, I'll tell a think about it maybe off camera myself but just wish to not put the fixture where, where, where it is basically so here we go against Ronaldo folks we've just got to keep performing like we are we're playing generally really, really well look at that the recent form shows that five wins out of the last five we are playing well we've just got to keep it going um, the team is in a really good place it feels like we just got to keep going. Hopefully, we can get the win, the win today against Granada and perform at the level we can. Ball to Bamang for one goal early on, and we did it again. <laughs> I mean, talk about starting strong. That's twice now we've done this um, today. But this is the first and last one. It's a straight ball um, through the back back line. Um, PK De Jong says, "You know what? Here you go, Bamang. Get him behind, lad. Touch, finish." One row against Granada, great start. Early goal. See, you can't get it much earlier than that. As you launch from the halfway line and kick off, and it goes in. Apart from that early goal, I'm literally no highlights. This is the first highlight since the goal went in. Um, Nico, good ball to Damachori. Can he pick it on? He does. Abamyang, Adama. Abamyang is through again, and it nearly was two. If he goes to the other side, I think he's got a better chance. Maybe it's hard to have an angle. Maybe the defender would have blocked it anyway. Corner kick now for Sujibur to take. Cause in the penalty area to Bamming out again, nice 2 0. Barcelona 2, Granada 0, and we are absolutely on fire at the minute with goals, goal scoring. It's nice to see it actually happen. Nice to see this, actually, this, this formation that I've always struggled with to get scoring freely consistently is doing it here at the moment. 2 0 against Granada. Bamming out back in the that lineup uh, after a bit of a Period of absence due to national football makes it two 0 against Granada, and this is what you like. This is what you don't want to see in it. As a team not getting one goal and sitting on it. Getting a second and then kicking on. Hopefully, get more. Is Dama now? De Jong. 
Good ball out to Bamiyang. Oh, the hat trick. Pirek Bamiyang. Oh, he's missed it. Could have been the first half, first half of the first half hat trick. <laughs> Literally, it could have been. Long ball. There's a wins ahead there. Watch you now. Balde. Let's get the ball off him if you can. Don't let him get the ball over the top. Long ball the pitch. That's too easy. And they're in here. And good save. I think it's because we're playing a high line and offside trap. That's the only thing. Um, offside traps, I'm not, not, not noticing many offsides being um, given uh, against for us, you know, meaning we're catching them offside, so I don't know if we should ditch that or not, but I think the high line is definitely causing, is definitely causing that. Eric Garcia, Nico, great ball through to Dama, he's in, can he finish it? He most certainly can! Barcelona 3, Granada nil, and the goals are just great to see, finally. All those games we were sitting there thinking, come on, take your chances. Do we keep Adama? I mean, we've got Trincao and other players like that. We maybe just said that in the season report. But well done, Adama. Nice little finish there. I mean, I can't knock his contribution. Eight goals, and he's generally a good threat as well. And someone in the comments section said to me, put on winger. Well, whoever that was, um, thank you, my friend, because he's banging the goals in now on a regular basis. It's like, it's, it's, it's not every game he's scoring, but he's scoring on a decent level. Um, which is great to see. I don't know why Darius uh, Barron is trying to play that, play that. One ball down the line. And well done, Eric Garcia. Reads that really well. PK. It's Busquets. PK. Eric. This is the little football we're playing here now. Can we get the ball over the top to somebody? Ferran Torres controls it. He's got options. Well, he's got forward but options, but he's gone backwards. So you don't mind doing this when we're 3 0 up. Uh, it's when it's 1 0, 2 0, we need to kill the game off. I get no bad in doing this. I've got a feeling it's going to be a goal, this. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling it's going to be a goal here. Ferran Torres. Fapos cross to De Jong. Ah, nearly a goal. Nice move again, though. Working through the working through. Then we get to the there we go. Full, our time Barcelona three, Granada nil. Working away from midfield, but then when we get to the final third, find be, be, be slightly more direct. That's exactly what I want them to do. But I will say occasionally as well, keep possession when we need to. Um, I'm gonna say Dolib, there's a little drop. I probably pissed him off. If it was 4-0, I would have gone, yeah, that's brilliant. But at 3-0, what happened, guys? Is the second we score a fourth goal, if we get a fourth goal, I will praise him straight away. Um, I'll give him praise and the shout. So um, hopefully that will negate that issue a little bit. But that could be a red card. Nope. So yeah, nope, not in the yellow. PK. De Jong. Good ball through the Dharma. Ah, I can't get there. Again. Try and beat a man in midfield, somebody, please. There's no need for that there. Come on. You're playing too safe. There we go. And again. Brilliant. Adama's in again. And he's scoring again. Barcelona 4, Granada nil. Just got a bit bogged down a little bit there, didn't we? But eventually we start playing balls forward. Adama's got another one. With every passing game he's playing, he's making the decision not to make a decision to keep the sign or, or let him go back. More and more difficult because he's actually performing really, really well. Bass on the four, Granada nil, and Adama is on a hat trick. Never thought I'd say those words in an episode. Penalty. I had a feeling, I had a feeling something was happening then. I thought it was one from the corner kick, but it's clearly as a result, as a next face on the corner kick. It's going to be a penalty, and we know who's taking it. I'm not going to go change it. It's going to be Adama Traore. Um, oh no, why is he taking it? No! Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, well, it's 5-0. <laughs> uh, well, he's, uh, fair enough, he's got that trick as well. Fair enough, then, I was going to say. I could say I knew that, fair, fair enough. I'm not bothered, then. He's got that trick at least. 5-0. I mean, we scored 10 goals today. That is actually... Nice and refreshing to see. I've got a corner kick now, but I'm going to make changes. The going to come off. I'm going to put on uh, Luke de Jong. Get Fatty on for some minutes. Um, let's get... Do I want to arrest him? Do I want to arrest him? Uh, I'm thinking about... No, I want to keep on for his act trick, uh, Dharma. I'm thinking about to bring on. Um, long laying for PKs. Give fish, give fish this. And that's, that's all I can do in it, really, I think, at this point. Um, Gary, can he come on for Busquets? Yes, he can. Just get fresh, some fresh legs on the pitch and rest some players so we don't get any kind of more injuries. Can't get for Gary to take. Curls it in. 
Keeps you the box. Adama, can I get there first? He should do, because he's quicker than most people on the pitch. Here he goes on the right and sucker. The space he's got here. Look at the space he's got here. Thanks to Young. Honestly, I think we keep Adama. Can he calls in? Flicks away. So Gilberto taking his time to get that under control. Longley. Gavi. Nico. Fatty. Good ball to Balde. Down the left. Can he pick out a cross? He can. To Adama Tiare. Oh, yeah. It's a double hat trick episode, folks. Uh, um, Abamyang. It's three hat tricks, actually, because Ferentos has got one. Abamyang has got one. And Adama Tiare has got one. Um, that's never happened to me on a football manager video before. Uh, good boy. And poor Mark at the far post. But Adama Tiare. <sighs> Kind of hard not to keep him in it now, really, based on his performance. That scoreline is insane. 6-0 from a team who's been really consistent. Here's Dammer again, down the right-hand side. Finds a he is absolutely on fire. Sure, you're not seven. <laughs> keep it with keep it, she went, yeah, I'm going over here. <laughs> the way he's just going. Uh, <laughs> Full-time, bounce on the six, Granada nil. Oh, boy. Um, I really enjoyed that. Um, Adama Chiori, I tell you, thirty million pound for a. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna start doing these. I'm gonna. Be, I'm gonna start doing these press conferences. Just be positive when we win, uh, negative, and just you know not go, not do it when we lose. <laughs> um, but Adama Chiori, he's got ten goals and three assists. I'm thinking we keep this guy. I think we keep this guy, or at least try, and extend the loan. If, if nothing else, because the current fee is £30 million. Pound. I'm thinking we keep him because he actually is performing really, really well and he's got 10 goals and 3 assists. Um, and I think he's definitely worth keeping around. That pace is... I think he's worth keeping if we can structure a deal in a certain way. So, next episode, the fixtures have slightly changed. So, we're going to come back for... Um, do we do... I'm thinking... Saturday go on Milan because then I can do two off camera, come back for Sevilla and Milan again, and then do it on its own. So that's what I'm going to do. The cup games can mess up a little bit, but 11 goals, guys, today in the episode, and two and three hat tricks. That has got to deserve a like. If you have enjoyed it, of course, do hit the like button as well. Hit the subscribe button with daily and content. Like I said, there's going to be a slight disruption possibly in the next few days for content. I'm going to do my best to get the content out before the disruption happens. If I can record during the next few days, well, not few days, but on Monday, on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I will do that. But of course, the work going on, I don't want to mess up the recording. So don't forget to check out the YouTube channel as well. Catch you all next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.